Hi guys, um, I just want to apologise just now for not making a video in quite a while. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks actually, about, well yeah. Anyway, um, I've been really busy over like Halloween and New Year's Eve. What? Man, I, I'm actually quite frustrated. Skyrim came out, I've gotten bugger all sleep. It's way too good. Anyway, Guy Fox Knight, that's what I meant. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this is a review for Bless the Fall, who were supported by Motionless and White, and Pierce the Veil and the Cat House. This happened on the 20th of October. So I'm just a bit late. Anyway, um, so I'll start off with Motionless and White, who were pretty good. I liked them. They were kind of screamo, but they had. Well, the guy had a good voice. He did. They dressed a bit weird. Kind of like, um. It was like a cross between just emo and corpse paint kind of thing. But it worked for them anyway, and they were they were quite good. Some guy walked on in a Edward Cullen mask, which was. I don't really know what to say about that, but then it turns out they're all Twilight fans. Shame on them. Anyway, um, so yeah, overall they were quite good. Um, I enjoyed it. I would have been able to enjoy it more if it wasn't at the Cat House, which is a really, really shit venue. You just can't hear anything there at all. Um, it was mostly just distortion all the way through, so if you're going to see a band, don't go to the Cat House. If you really want to go see them at Cash, then you know, be prepared to not be able to hear the next day. It's quite bad. Um, and Pierce the Veil, they were quite good. I liked them. Again, I heard them before when they were playing with the Day to Remember in March, I think. But I never really, you know, I never really got the chance to like. No, in fact, that was back in January. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I never really heard much of them though. I missed like most of the songs. I caught like the last two of them maybe. But I liked them. Um, they were a bit poppy, but overall, just they were a good band. They worked well together. They got the crowd going quite well. You know, all the people that were there to see them. Um, because it was a very very mixed crowd. It was like people going to see motion and uh, motionless and white, which are like heavy, like they, they love pure heavy screamo music and things like that and um, there was the kind of pop punk style fans there for Pierce the Veil and then there was the kind of metal fans or post hardcore fans for Bless the Fall but it was a good gig, it was, um, again if it wasn't in the cat house it would have been a lot better. Bless the Fall, now honestly right, every time I hear, I think of them I always think how much the lead singer looks and sounds like Craig Mabbitt. It's probably not a great thing to, you know, do because he's his own person. He's not meant to be associated with the ex singer, but honestly the likeness is unbelievable. I'm almost certain that they're related, really. So if you can tell me they are, that would be really helpful. I d I don't think they are, but it's you know. Uh I was quite surprised they never played um, uh, Last Ones Left. That was one of the main songs that I really went there for. But they played Rise Up, so that was quite good. I liked that. It was lots of fun. Um, they're just overall quite a good band, but they are they just seem like they don't know what to do on stage when they get there, you know? They just... Like, they come on and, they, and they're nervous, but I'll probably pass as they play more, which is... It's gonna be good, it's absolutely freezing in here. Sorry I had to say that. Um, I'll be doing another video today as well as uploading them onto Tumblr and YouTube, of course, because that's where I've started putting them now. And um, I'll, be st I'll start doing the past concerts in, like, in near the end of, the, of December, maybe next year, because, <clears throat> well, I've got concerts still coming up. So I'm going to do all the concerts I've been seeing from the Blackfield Brides, which was the 9th 
till about the 5th or 6th of December after Machine Head or depending on whether or not I go to the Defenders of the Face, which is not looking likely I've heard Trivia are shit live although I would love to review them anyway, see what they're like um, well I'm gonna just stop now because there's not really much left to say about Bless the Fall I hope they get a better venue next time so I can actually properly hear them and it'd be good to see them interact with the crowd a little more but other than that, they were good so, until next time, bye bye